Hello and welcome back to our KSP career. Today we are launching the Duna Craft. That is two rockets that will be taking various science probes and experiments and relay satellites in the orbit of Duna. However, uh, given that we are close to the window, 20 days away to be exact, but not yet on the window, that means that we will only be launching them in near carbon orbit. So low carbon orbit and uh, with that thing being said they will be ejected to Duna at some later point however uh, we have two craft this is the first one and this one is actually a little bit reminiscent of the Falcon 9 this should I think at least be the one that has uh, the Duna relay satellites I just hope I'm correct. Uh, when we open the fairing, time will tell. I mean, it's been a while since I last uh, lost introduced them, since I last, you know, built them and everything. If you want to check it out, please check it, the episode. Uh, I will post the link in the comments, obviously, uh, or sorry, in the description. Uh, however, we are now shooting for the apoapsis, as you can tell, and... We're going to be circularizing rather soon and following that we shall be launching the second one. So, yes, without further ado. Now, let's point the craft, you know, a maneuver prograde. There we go. And yes, these are the Duna relay satellites. Lots of them, as you can tell. So the only change that I actually did compared to the original one before I uninstalled the remote tech, which I uninstalled just for the reference, uh, I have actually uh, changed the long range antenna on the craft to be one in the middle. So that's it. Apart from that, I'm not sure, and the, the one in the middle is actually not a relay, and those two that I've put relays, which with, which we had the 200 range, uh, 200 gigameter range, now have only, I think, 80 million meter, which means those relays are not enough. Meaning, once I go there and I hopefully deploy some stuff, uh, I'm hoping that I will be able to at least, uh, you know, deliver some satellites there. We'll see how it goes. I'm a little bit concerned, but that could mean only that I have to send another, you know, when I get more technology explored, that I send another relay satellite and it will be fine. All right. That thing being said, we have circularized in the low carbon orbit, which should be just good enough. I mean, there we go. That's it. I'm happy. Let's go and let's continue onwards to the next vessel. But before that, we just take a one or two glory shots because I think it looks beautiful. And I really like the uh, also this um, SpaceX, SpaceX rideshare adapter. It, it looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Yeah, look at it. Glory shot for the win. All right. Next launch, and this is the Sciencer, the one that has science satellites. Look at it go, shooting up like a rocket. Pun intended. Yes, uh, it has pretty high thrust to weight ratio because it has this uh, twin bore engines, which are actually quite powerful. And uh, in the middle, we have obviously the standard SpaceX uh, engine that we are used. Well, let's use on Falcon 9, but in game, I don't know what's it called. So there we go, the plume as we go up goes more beautifully than ever and we shall be dropping the first set of boosters right about now two down two more to go all right so with that thing being said this thing has a monstrous 8000 meters per second so it has more than enough for a powered push to Duna and then powered circularization. I didn't want to go with the aero brakes yet because I don't have the sufficient technology to do so. I mean, I have obviously the heat shield, but then again, I wanted to have the big one, the inflatable heat shield, which I don't have not even nearly at the moment because I'm playing with a, you know, community tech tree and that one is actually kind of a pain in the rear, to be honest. I mean, I like the added complexity and extra requirements, but I mean, it asks for a lot. Together with Kerbalism, well, I can tell you it's a, it's a problem, honestly. All right, that being said, let's circularize. And after that, I think I will be uh, 
I'm pretty happy with uh, how it looks. So yeah, 900 meters per second to go, and there we go, beautifully executed. Another set of boosters bites the dust. Beautiful. Also guys, for your information, I have decided to scrap the O scrap. As I've announced in the previous episode, this is the first episode without it because I mean, I was giving it a shot and honestly, the, the failure rate was insane. I mean, by the time this craft would come to Duna, I'm pretty sure that 20% of the craft would still be working. And I'm not joking. So, you know, failures are fun when they occur sometimes and random and I really like the added explosions that it generated when testing or when even when trying to fly however I mean you don't go with 50% failure rate I'm on seriously even if you then do a static fire you have reduced the probability from 50 to what 30 I mean sorry not a big fan However, uh, test flight was something that I thought was interesting, so maybe I'll introduce test flight in the future. Do let me know in the comments what you think. Should I include the test flight or not to this save? I'm really curious uh, to, to hear your answer, so please voice them. They make a big difference. Anyway, I think we are, let's say, at the state where I want to be, so I think that it looks kind of cool. I'm thinking the antennas are deployed. I obviously didn't want to deploy the big long-range antennas. Those I will be hopefully remembering to launch once we go there. And yeah, and also I decided to scrap the alarm. And as you can tell, I have decided to put another series of, uh, you know, transfer windows for Jewel, Sarnas, and all the other planets, because they're not going to happen anytime soon. However, I want to have them in my list, so I know when they happen, that we can actually build a craft in time, and prepare and launch it. And then I have a sort of an idea what the Delta V will be. Yeah, but that brings us to the end of this episode. As always, guys, like the episode, and I'll see you on the next one.